it is easy to be stereotypical about this, but to be curious is, is, is to be happy. The anti-intellectual culture that's growing in this country right now, it's really easy to, to be cynical and chalk that up to um, the interesting political times that we find ourselves in, but, but it's actually quite a bit deeper than that. I don't see um, a good environmental future for this country or for anywhere if scientists um, at a fundamental level don't do a better job of trying to bridge anti-intellectual gaps. And this isn't about arguing about climate change, this isn't arguing about the Endangered Species Act, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's, a, it's sort of a, uh, about cultural norms and people need to understand that um, it is not geeky and it is not boring to care about some of these issues and, and put, spend part of your time reading or learning about them. But beyond that, your life is richer. And, and this goes hand in hand with the, with the core idea of having uh, a higher institution of learning, having the university system, is that not everything that we teach you is supposed to be um, a part of your vocational training, that there is a benefit to the well-being of your life and your mind by studying these things. And, as research professors, our job is to, is to learn new things. And as you try to internalize what it is that you're doing or what you're learning, um, it really doesn't have much value if it's not something that you could relay to somebody else that hasn't been sitting in your seat. And that's the needle that I want to move. If, if a few of our students are good enough at this to actually get them thinking creatively about the packaging for whatever the, the bit of data they want to share is, and we're kind of starting to see that.